Hello everyone, my name is Alon Guterman and I am the Containers Team Tech Lead here at Checkmox. Today I want to show you something critical, how containers can be compromised and more importantly how to prevent it. So here is what we'll cover. I'm going to go through a quick overview of the container security risks and right after that I'll take you through a live demo where I'll hack into a running application on Kubernetes by exploiting a base image vulnerability show you how our new container engine could have prevented this, and finally, demonstrate our solution remediation capabilities. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let me quickly walk you through how your containers might be at risk. A container can have vulnerabilities that originate from your base images, your running application, or any installed third-party package. It is possible that the base image you are using is itself malicious or contains a malicious package, and in addition, configuration issues can be exploited as well by attackers. We know that attackers actively scan for weaknesses and vulnerabilities, and once they find one, they can exploit it to run malicious code inside your container. From there, they might be able to execute arbitrary commands, access sensitive data, and potentially even move to other containers in your clusters. Now, think about how code reaches production. Your developers write code, build it into a Docker image, push it through your CI CD pipeline, and finally deploy it to production as a running container, which handles the core of your business. The Docker image from which the container will be created is built from something called a Docker file, which is a part of the code and part of the responsibility of the developer. That Docker file, besides of containing the application code and third-party packages, of course, in most cases it will be based on public image that might contain vulnerable packages that can be exploited by attackers. As scary as this sounds, a lot of these threats can be identified and mitigated during the development process, long before production. That's why we urge our clients to continuously run security checks over the built Docker image during the development process. And that's exactly what Checkmark's container engine does. The uniqueness of the container scan tool is that it can identify threats coming from not only any third-party packages added to your image, but also threats coming from the public base image being used. Let me demonstrate this with a real example. I'm going to show you how an attacker could exploit a vulnerability in a common base image that many companies use today. So, for the sake of this demo, let's say there is a development team who works at an e-commerce company and the team is asked to create pipeline to synchronize the order cycle. Let's say, for example, order processing, inventory syncing, email confirmation, etc. In order to accomplish this, the team decides to use Apache Airflow for scheduling and automating the workflows. It is very popular and the team is familiar with it, so they decide to go with it. And why not? We can see here at Docker Hub that it has more than 1 billion downloads. So here's the code, uh, Python in this case, we can see here it uses third-party packages, for example, the S3 client. Code has these methods for processing orders, sending email, and so on. And here below, there is something called a DUG, which is specific pipeline declaration for the Apache Airflow. As I mentioned, part of the code is the Docker file itself. In this example, the developer used Apache Airflow version 1.10.10. It's quite old, but maybe the developer copied it from somewhere or it's compatible with our packages used in the code. And then we can see the third-party packages installed, which are needed for the application, uh, the code of the application itself, and some configuration. When the development CI-CD process runs, it builds the Docker image from the Docker file and later deployed as a container on the environment. Here you can see the final application. It is running as a container on Kubernetes, in this case specifically on EKS by AWS. We can see here the e-commerce order processing pipeline that we just wrote. Currently it is running. We can play around with the UI and see what else we can do here in the application, and it's pretty cool and comfortable to use. As it turns out, Apache Airflow with that specific version had many vulnerabilities, one of which is that one from 2021, and we can see it here on NVD. This vulnerability exposes a remote code execution by exploiting one of the example pipelines, if it exists, even if it turns off. An attacker does not even have to work hard to exploit it. Since the version is quite old, there is already code and explanation on the internet as to how we run malicious code by exploiting that specific vulnerability. The Apache Airflow in that version comes with something called Experimental API, which is public by default even if web interface was set with an authentication set. And by using that public API, we can trigger one of the example pipelines to run and then send it a command to run a specific shell command as that is what the example does, and in this case I will send it a command to run a reversal command into my machine. On my machine I will be using ngrok and listening to port 4444 to inbound data and wait for the reversal command to execute. 
Now I'm not going to use the code, but just run two Postman calls to the experimental API for my machine. The first call would be to tell the example to be activated, as by default it isn't. And the second call would be to run that example pipeline with an input of message from my reversal command. Now we wait until the pipeline example is executed, and we should see any second now that we gain access to that running container. And that's it. Now we have access to run any shell commands on the running container on AWS. I just exploited a known vulnerability to gain access to that running container. We can try and run some commands here. Let's see. OK, we don't have root user privileges here. But if I were to have root user privileges, I probably could have started installing malicious software, maybe killing processes or overwriting critical files in the system. Or maybe even if the container is not properly isolated, I might be able to escalate to the whole system itself. Really just creating a lot of havoc. But nonetheless, I am going to type env here and I can see all the environment variables of that running container. It is possible that I will be able to get from it things like secrets, such as the cloud access tokens or database credentials, API keys and so forth, and to gain access to this external system. Maybe I will be able to get to the internal services endpoints uh, by using the URLs and IP addresses and attempt to connect to and exploit these services. And that is definitely something that you don't want anyone to be able to do on your running containers. What you just saw wasn't complex, and that's exactly what makes it dangerous. Just by exploiting a known vulnerability that exists in the base image, I was able to break into a running application on our Kubernetes cluster. This is particularly concerning because of the vulnerability exists in the foundation of your application, and once compromised, your entire container environment could be at risk. At checkmarks, this is exactly the kind of security risk we don't want our customers to face, and it could have been easily identified and addressed way before any of that code resource production. Now let me show you how we can prevent this by using Checkmarks Containers Engine. Let's see how the Checkmarks Container Engine can mitigate these risks. Our engine scans Docker images that were built as part of your development process, images from within the Docker files of your solution, Helm charts and Docker Compose files for Docker images. For all of these supported types, the engine analyzes each layer of your Docker images for vulnerable packages and malicious packages, integrates with sysdig to identify which packages are used in runtime, and provides recommendations for public image versions that contain fewer or no risks. And finally, Checkmarks easily integrates with your CI CD pipeline. Let me show you a scan of this specific image using our product. So I created a scan of the image created from the Docker file I showed you earlier on the demo. Notice these key elements. Base image identification. We identified the Apache Airflow 1.10.10 base image. Complete layer analysis showing exactly in which layer the vulnerabilities were found. And it also provides the package vulnerability breakdown. Here is where it gets valuable. We identify safe upgrade paths, highlight potential breaking changes, suggest alternative base images with better security postures. For this specific image, we can see that upgrading to version 2.10.2 reduces vulnerabilities by 80%. Minor version upgrades are available that will not require any refactoring. And we also recommend alternative distributions if exist with stronger security posture. We saw that container security doesn't have to be complex. With the right tools and insights, you can identify vulnerabilities before they become problems, get clear actionable remediation steps, and maintain security without sacrificing development speed. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it was informing, and I look forward to seeing you next time.